Hey guys, Eric here, Eric Broadbent from EVH Gear Discussion Live. I hope everyone is well. Thursday evening, and that means we're almost close to showtime tomorrow night. I'm doing a little bit of a quick update tonight. It's going to give you some things, uh, information on what's happening on the show. And uh, today was a really, really cool day too. So I thought I'd go over a few things that happened today. Uh, number one, you can see behind me, I've got a Boss Katana, the uh, Boss Katana 50 watt uh, amplifier. Big shout out and thanks to my friend Steve from uh, Steve Ayers from Frank's Music Center for uh, getting me this. Um, I don't know the app all that well yet, but I wanted to get a little bit more familiarized with it for tomorrow night's show. Uh, for those of you that don't know or haven't seen any of our posts online, Mark and I have some great guests tomorrow night. You got to see in the intro here a few minutes ago a guitar player, uh, Mike Hemmel, our good, very good friend, Mike Hemmel. Uh, he's making a return uh, uh, appearance on the show tomorrow night. And we've also, he's bringing along some people as well, too, from, from Boss. We've got worldwide president and CEO, Mr. Yoshi Ikigami. And uh, we're also bringing uh, over one of their product managers as well, too, to make sure I get the name correct. It's uh, Jeff Slinghoff. Uh, so they'll be joining us tomorrow night. We're going to be talking about uh, the Boss Katana line, uh, the Waza Craft, uh, the Waza Amp, and all the pedals and everything that's happening really cool in the world of Boss. Uh, very, very cool stuff. I'm just learning this amplifier right now. Like I said, it's a Katana 50, and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to do a little bit of a demo on it here in a moment. I've got it mic'd up here, and you'll have to, be, you'll have to go easy on me because I don't know the amp that well yet. But the cool thing about Boss, one thing I've loved about them forever, you know, actually I got one of their, I have a million of their pedals, but I mean, everything with Boss, turn the knobs and go. There's, you know, different presets and things like that too. You can get into that to your heart's content, uh, but uh, it's just turn and go. A couple of people jumping in the chat already. We got Skibble5150. Hello from Montreal. Speaking of Montreal, I got something to show you in a second. Uh, Darren Moore is on here. Woohoo. The intro is killer. Hey there, Eric. And my own Poison Ivy Gross here is here. Uh, Darren Moore. Dude, he's got an interview tomorrow at Guitar Center, uh, his local Guitar Center. We're really uh, rooting for you. I hope you get that gig. You'll be, you'll do the EVH brand very, very well there. And I know you'll keep those guitars in top-notch shape. So we're really pulling for you to get that that job. I hope you get it. Before we get into the Katana stuff, since we have a fellow here from Montreal, I got a very nice gift in the mail today. This is from my friend Howie. Howie, you totally, totally rock. Um, I'll start with this. So this is Montreal we're talking about. This just came in the mail today. From Dweezil Zappa, uh, signed uh, tour program, whatever, tour poster. And actually, Dweezil just played with our good friend, actually, our friend D uh, Jacob Daraps, Daraps, just played with uh, with him uh, about a week ago. And Howie was with them for a better part of the week, I believe. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, Howie got this for me, signed from Dweezil, which is very, very cool. This is going to get uh, put in a frame right away and get that up on the wall. And along with that, one of Dweezil's guitar picks as well, too. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm very thankful for that. Thank you so much, Howie. Howie Zowie, you, you rock, man. Thank you so much. So that's from Montreal. Um, so Frank C was checking out the amp earlier this week. Very cool. And Dar um, Darren, you're very welcome as well, buddy. So that's going to go up. Fantastic day today. We're going to get into the amp here in a second. Um, some more stuff. You can see the new shirt I'm wearing from the Van Halen, Van Halen store, a show sponsor. It's one of three that came in, one of four that came in today. So thank you very much, Jeff. Got some more here as well, too. This is the uh, black kind of distressed look. It's to kind of match the one that they had on tour. They had the blue one, which you've seen me wear sometimes that was sold at the tour. This is the matching black one. Very nice with a distressed looking logo. Love these things. This one here was actually claimed by my uh, own Sandra Lee here. So I guess she's going to get this one. I'm sure she'll look good in it. Very, very nice. I like that. Nice print on that. Kind of a, it's more of a stealth look when you see it in person, like the, uh, the gray is a little softer than what it looks like on the light here. It's reflecting a bit more. Sean Silas is jumping in the house here. Hey, Sean. How you doing, buddy? And we got one other one here, too. Another Van Halen logo shirt. So needless to say, I think I'm okay for Van Halen shirts for a bit. Thank you so much, Jeff. And I'm wearing the Vintage 84. Uh, you know, I think they call it the Ringer short sleeves. Really, really cool. I like that. It's a little cold here in Canada right now. So I'm wearing a sweatshirt, an AVH sweatshirt over top as well. So got that in as well today. So I'm going to try to go over some of this katana here a little bit. And one of the cool things on the katana it does have the, a, a patch actually called brown, which is really cool. So, you know, kind of after the Eddie Van Halen brown sound. This one is a 50 watt deal, uh, solid state. And what's really cool with it, the effects that are built into it, you've got your modulations, you've got delays and reverbs and things like that. Um, and when I say modulation, everything from pitch change, flanging, phasing, and things like that. You can hook it up with a USB jack in the back and you can go to the, um, uh, you know, Boss online and you can actually download new effects, whatever ones you want in here. There's a couple different preset banks on here. If you don't want to get into the banks, you want to just sit there and turn the knobs like you would a normal amplifier. Um, you can actually hit a button that says panel 
And what that panel will do is virtually that. It, whatever you touch on the panel now becomes, you know, it's live interactive. You want more mids, you turn the mids. Um, so I'm going to turn my vocal microphone down here for a second, and I'm going to go over to the amp, and we'll fiddle a little bit. I may I may stand up, and you may see me get cut off here a little bit, my head, whatever. But um, I'm just going to fool with the amp a little bit and see what we got. So let's bring that back, Matt. Let me see what we got here. Okay, now I have it on a preset patch right now. Let's roll this back. Show you some more tones on that in a second. I'll just go over some of the settings on here too. So you got 50 watts in this one here, 12 inch speaker. Um, it's got a bit of a power break on it as well too. So I know you'd normally find that with a tube, a tube type amp. You know you can cut the power back from right down to about half of a watt uh, to I think 10, 25 watt things like that. Very very cool. Uh, got a built-in pop-up stand as well too on the bottom. There's a little foot that pops down so you can actually tip the amp backwards. And like I was talking about with the effects. You've got, it says over uh, customizable multi effects, over 50 boss effects, types available with USB and the Tone Studio. And then on each of the, um, the effects that are built into it, um, you, there's different lights. You press it, like you press it three different times, you've got a red, a red light, uh, sorry, a green light, red light, and an amber light, or orange they call it. So if you're, in, if you're using the boost mode, or the booster or the modulation, it'll go from a blues drive to a chorus, to an overdrive to a flanger, to a distortion and a phaser. And then through your delay effects, You've got digital uh, digital delay to, uh, to tremolo, analog to touch wah, tape echo, and octave. And then what's really cool here, too, in the reverbs, you've got plate, spring, and hall. So you've got some of the best reverbs that you can choose from. And I'll see if I can go through some of the modulation effects here, and we'll, we'll play with that a little bit. So I'll be standing up here for a second. And let's just jump over to a few more of the comments here as well, too. Uh, we've got uh, Frank C. was checking out the amp earlier this week. He was saying, Sean saying, nice. Clint uh, saying, what's up from Bangor, Maine? And the musical Mike Fall, Jacob Duraps rules. Yes, he does. That's no doubt about that. Uh, Sean Silas says, great, great. And uh, let me see here. Got to get one of those shirts. And uh, and yes, Darren, you are correct. Is that the shirt that says everybody wants some um, come as a male shirt or is it unisex? Actually, it is a male shirt, but uh, Sandra Lee, she claimed it. And speaking of which, I think she's texting me at the moment. And um, yes, she just texted me and she wants that shirt. And Frank, yes. So Frank says he likes the, uh, the amplifier. Billy Shelton's jumping in. Hey, Billy, I haven't talked to you in a few days. I was talking to you on Facebook a couple days ago. Uh, Clint, uh, tubes roll. This one isn't a tube amp, actually. This one is a solid-state amplifier, but it certainly sounds like a tube amplifier. Uh, Russell Tabor says, uh, uh, good evening, Eric. It's been a while. I've got some catching up to do. And Fret01 uh, says, I like it. Frank says, real nice sound. And Adam Scheinberg says, evening, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to try to play a little bit more of the amp here, see what we can do. I'll go through some of those modulation effects here. We'll see what we got. I 
like that. Not too bad at all. I'm going to have some fun with this one for sure. I like the fact that you can uh, tap in with the USB and add more effects as well. Very, very cool. Very stylish look to them as well too. Solid chassis. Uh, th there's no real Tolex to this. It's like, uh, I'm not sure what type of material it is. Um, like an MDF or something like that, but it's, uh, it's a molded Tolex look to it. Very solid, very sleek looking. I would really like to try the 100 watt version of this. I think that has the 212. That'd be really, really cool. Um, and here's Sean, Sean Tyler says, uh, uh, yes, rush sound. Yeah, I was trying to do a little bit of uh, Spirit of Radio. Um, and let me see here. Clint says, I like your amp tonight. Uh, that's to your previous shows. I've gotten in touch with Futone and seriously upgraded my Strat. Fantastic. I'm glad to uh, spread the word of uh, Futone there as well. That's uh, obviously we talk a lot about Adam and his uh, his goods his wares for the guitar over there exactly and he can really hook you up uh, he's got some great new product as well a lot of the titanium uh, he's got the locking nuts he's got the uh what is it the marine brass or i forget what they call that but the, the new brass locking nuts and what that kind of stuff very very nice um i'd show you some more of the katana but i really don't know that much about the amp yet i'm going to spend some time with it tonight but uh you really want to check out the show tomorrow night it's going to be a big one it's probably our biggest one of the year this year uh, it is our biggest show of the year this year. We've got, uh, like I said earlier, for those of you who are just joining, we've got uh, Mike Kimmel, our friend returning guitarist. Uh, he's coming on the show tomorrow night, and uh, he's bringing along with him Mr. Yoki, I'm sorry, Yoshi Ikigami. I always uh, get a tongue twister. Uh, he's the worldwide president and CEO of Boss Worldwide, so that's phenomenal. I mean, we're totally, totally geeked out when it comes to Boss. I mean, all of us have cut our teeth on Boss pedals. We still have Boss pedals on my board right now. I've got uh, six six Boss pedals plus a reverb that's sitting over here right now on the desk. So uh, obviously a, a lot of Boss stuff, um, Boss amps. You know, it's we we've all like I said we've cut our teeth on it. Phenomenal products. We've got a lot of good questions. I know uh, Mark's got some great questions as well too. I was looking at the itinerary today, and he's got some amazing questions. We'll get into you know what's happening with the Waza. We'll get what's happening with with Mike himself. And Mike, if you're watching tonight as well, too, uh, thank you very much for the shout out you did tonight with the video. Um, and Skibble says, is there a tap delay on it with a foot switch? Yes. I don't have the foot switch with this, but you you can change the channel with it and you can have a tap tempo to set the delays and whatnot as well. And uh, Billy Shelton is asking, what do those amps go for? I don't know the exact retail price on these ones, but I know here in Canada where this one was. Uh, for the uh, 50 watt was 289 bucks. So very, very reasonable. Um, little Eric's going to get this one for Christmas for sure. Uh, it's perfect to go with it. He's got the same guitar that I'm playing here right now too. He's got one of these, the uh, Wolfgang uh, Standard Indonesian. So uh, Eric was playing it earlier tonight and he was liking it. He was playing some of the effects, uh, the effects, uh, some of the uh, octave settings and stuff like that on there. He was having fun. And there's an acoustic simulator on there as well too. So you can kind of like the pedal. Uh, the clean channel, the acoustic. The, I'll tell you what the actual modes are. You've got, uh, hopefully you can still hear me, clean, crunch, lead, and then you've got the brown sound, which is obviously, that's what we talk about on this channel, is uh, is brown. Um, see if I can play a little tiny bit more here for you. There's some real long delay. Nice delay, nice reverbs too. Very responsive and delay too. Lots of reverb. Yeah, I can I can have a lot of a lot of fun with this too. And it's a kind of amp where you obviously you can sit there and play quietly at, at home, like you know, in an apartment or whatever. If I bring that volume back, watch this. I'll put it on the half a watt setting. Okay, so my microphone is barely even picking it up right now. So I'm going to bring the gain up on my microphone that's miking this. Let's see what we got there. I lost, I ran out of detune here, so I have to stretch my string. So crank that gain up. Not 
Not too bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, people are getting their bumper stickers in today. I'll have to grab a couple of those, show you what those look like. If I can reach over here. A bunch of these went out last week. If anybody wants to get some of these limited edition EVH gear discussion bumper stickers, uh, just go to the website, ericbroadbent.com. It's right on the homepage, and you can uh, you can order those. I know some of our friends, uh, Michael Smith, uh, David Allen Wright. Um, who else got some today? I know those guys got some. Jeff Alexander, he got some as well, too. So, uh, yeah, they all went out at the same time, and a lot of uh, buddies are getting them today. Tomorrow's going to be a really, really cool thing as well here, too. Anxious to show you on the show. Uh, these were made by one of our sponsor, one of our two sponsors. This is from Simple Signs and Graphics. And we're going to have something very, very cool to show you on the back wall. It's going to be seven foot by four foot. Nice, jimongous sign. You'll get to see that tomorrow. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be for promo for the show. And that's from Luke over at Simple Signs and Graphics. So I know we're very, very excited. Uh, Mark and I are very excited to have you on tomorrow night. Uh, we've got Sinner joining us. We've got Skibble. He's saying, roll back your volume, please, on the heavy setting to, to hear the clarity. Yeah, let's try that. Roll back the volume, uh, please, on the heavy setting. Okay, and I, yeah, let's bring it back. It does clean up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the volume up high. Okay, so here's what we got on full. I'll clean it up a bit. Roll my volume back on the guitar. It does clean up a bit. I like it. Uh, Sean says he will order some. A sticker is fantastic. And Cliff was saying 349 Australian dollars for the 50 watt 112. So very, very uh, competitive. About 50 bucks or about 100 bucks more, I guess, uh, than Canadian. I'm not sure how that dollar converts over there. I haven't figured that out, the conversion. Uh, so we've got Sinner on here. And, uh, and also Skibble was saying great price. Line 6 has some competition now for sure. Um, I've, I've loved boss stuff for such a long time. And I've really, uh, other than the jazz, like with Roland's uh, product, like the jazz chorus and things like that, the cube I've played a little bit, but, uh, very interested in this thing. And tomorrow, Mike will fill us in a lot on the Waza stuff. You've seen a lot of Mike's uh, videos all on the Waza. So he'll give us some really detailed information on that. Center sets a very responsive amp with the volume knob. Yeah. I find for a solid state amp, like I find tube amps will clean up a lot more, be more responsive to the volume, but I, I'm, I'm very surprised, actually, with the way this cleans up. Now, here again, I'm playing on the low watt. And uh, Jason says the amp sounds great. Thank you. And it looks cool, doesn't it? It's very, very cool. And Billy Shelton says sounds pretty good for the price. Um, you know, what it's really, really cool about this, too, like, okay, if, like the amps I have at the back there with the EVH stuff, uh, they can play quiet. But a nice solid-state amplifier, you could literally be, like, almost like in a library-type environment. And, uh, you know, like I say, I'm on a, on a half a watt right now. And I've got my sustain. I've got my gain. I don't have to plug a single pedal in. I've got everything right there. And uh, Michael says, waza up. All right. <laughs> For sure. Try one of my riffs. I dig it. I dig it for sure. Bubba James says, you like it? Yeah, I, I do like it. I like it a lot. I've only had about a half an hour to really play on it. Little Eric played probably about uh, that or more. And I think he got uh, he got more, more out of it than I did because uh, he just he was playing with everything. I said, go nuts, have some fun, play with all the switches and knobs and, uh, you know, learn, the, learn it a little bit. But very, very cool. Like I say, it comes with a little thing on top of the amp that, you know, if you're in your music store, you can just figure it out without having to read a manual. Just go over it, try each of the buttons on there. Uh, you've got two banks, and as far as I know, when you set something to where you like it, I think you can store it in one of those two presets just by pressing the button like you would on your car stereo and holding it in there. Uh, Sinner says, yeah, I like it a lot. The clean reminds me of the cube stuff. I agree. Bubba, Bubba James says, uh, cool. I'm going to go back to the clean one again just one more time here. crank way too high it's probably clipping sorry about your ears there guys
Very nice, clean. It's a very spongy sound too. Surprisingly, it sounds tubish when I'm in front of it here. What you're hearing through the microphone may not do it justice, but the actual room and air moving here, it does sound very uh, warm and tuby. <laughs> Flanger. Yeah, so who's asking the price there? I uh, missed that there too. And yeah, Frank says, yeah, you can download up to 55 other Boss pedals to the amp. Very, very cool. I, I would like to try some of the other pedals, uh, which you can put in there just to see. And um, yeah, Street Michael Collins was saying, that's awesome. What is the street price? And so 200, Cinder saying 200, probably the US dollars, $289 here in Canada. And uh, Jared Frost is jumping in, says, sounds great. Thank you, Jared. And uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, speaking, Jared, I got to show you. I uh, got to try to show you the back of my wall. Jared was very kind and sent some very cool sound deadening uh, acoustic foam here. So I'll show you back here. Looking good. Walls looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Thank you so much, Jared. Jared went to very good use. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, bumping of the camera there. And uh, very simple to use from what Cinder is saying. And uh, Sean says, I like how it works with the amp. Charlie Arnold says, I love the brown sound. Yeah, a lot of fun. And he says, uh, Citizen Kane says, hey, Eric, you check out the Yamaha THR 10 amps and how does this compare? I have to be 100% honest with you. No, I have not. Um, I haven't played a Yamaha amplifier for many, many years. It had a little, little 12 watt combo. It was, it was kind of a competitor for a crate back in the day. It sounded much like the crate. I haven't, haven't tried one a lot of times, so uh, I can't give you a, a good, uh, honest answer there. And um, Bubba James has, has that stretchy me wise magic tone. Cool, I can see that. And is the amp good for the brown sound? Yeah, for sure. And it's actually got a patch on there called brown, which is a very mid rangey, rather gainy. Obviously, you know, with the modern 5150 amps, very gainy. So I find it somewhat gainy as well. Uh, Jared saying it looks awesome. And came in late. What is the model and how does the accept pedals in front? Okay, so Citizen, he's asking about it's This is a Katana um, from Boss, 50 watt version. Uh, they have it in 100 watt. They also have it in 100 watt head. And I could be wrong on the other models. I'm just learning them right now. Um, Sean says cool on the foam. And uh, Jared maybe can comment on where the, where the foam is from and company name. Um, I don't know that. He can probably mention that in the chat. Now I'll double check the back the back of the amp here for a second. So no effects loop on the unit, but it does have the expression pedal in and the channel switching, um, has a recording output and also has a auxiliary in too, which is very cool to run your, uh, uh, your iPod in or your, you know, your phone or whatever you're going to run it. Actually, maybe even a drum machine for that matter, running one of the boss drum machines and you can jam along with it and it actually won't be going through the effects or anything like that. It's just going to be what, what comes in is un unprocessed. So you'll be able to jam along with your favorite tunes. Uh, Johnny Lee Arnold says I'm watching football in a Trump rally. I'm mad because I missed the beginning. Love this channel. <laughs> well, hopefully this show is a little bit better than a Trump rally. But then again, I'm not going to get into politics. Um, not one whatsoever. I'm just glad I'm a Canadian right now. That's for sure. Um, but oh, and Jared says it's from Amazon. I think you did tell me that. So thank you for clarifying, Jared. Um, this we can replay the broadcast when you're done. So if you miss the beginning, no problem. Play back. But you're going to want to tune in live tomorrow night for sure. And I was surprised I didn't say this. We're going to be giving some things away throughout the show tomorrow night. We've got a brass block. I believe it's for a Strat uh, from, from Futone, fu-tone.com. We're giving that away tomorrow night. We're going to have a trivia contest somewhere through the show. We don't know where, but you have to be tuning in throughout the whole night to win. We're going to give that away and a series of bumper stickers and some other stuff we may have as well too. So tune in tomorrow night, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time throughout the, uh, the show. We're going to have some freebies for you. And uh, yeah, Jared just says... Um, 
Uh, not sure who makes it. Just thought it was cool. And, and uh, I bought way too much of it. <laughs> and very nice. You sent me a lot. And I still have a little bit more I'm putting in different spots of the uh, studio here as well, too. And uh, let me see. 100 Watt Head has a mini speaker built in. That I did not know. I did not know that. It's very, very cool. And I think that's all the comments. If I hadn't missed anybody, I want to thank everybody uh, for commenting. We've got 32 people watching right now. Seven thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Um, if you guys like this stuff, by all means, you're going to give it a thumbs up. I, that shows your support that you dig it. And uh, I'm just really happy to have you guys watching. The channel's growing. We're very happy with that. I guess I could always give a little bit of a rundown of who's coming on the show. Obviously, we've talked about tomorrow. Once again, for the latecomers, we've got Mike Hemmel, guitarist, joining us tomorrow night, uh, joining both uh, Mark and I, Mark Krasansky, my co-host. And we've got, he's bringing along with uh, Yoshi Ikigami, Mr. Yoshi Ikigami, boss, president, CEO worldwide. And their product manager is going to be joining them as well, too. Uh, on November 4th, we've got uh, Andy Allodort from Guitar World. Uh, Paul Riero is going to be coming on shortly as well, too, from Guitar World. We've got Bill Landry from Landry Amps coming on the show. Um, just last week, we had George Pahone Jr. from Black Eyed Peas. That was a really fun show. Had some great uh, um, Eddie, Eddie uh, stories. We've got the fellows from J Rocket Audio um, Pedals coming on, J Rocket Audio Designs coming on. And we're hoping to get our friend Steve Stevens back. Um, we'll have some little secret uh, things to talk about with that. If we get him back on the show and J Rocket at the same time, it would be nice. We've got uh, Rick Emmett in the can somewhere where he's coming down the down the pipe. Uh, Canadian guitarist extraordinaire talking with Ian Thornley. We've been talking a little bit back and forth on uh, Facebook, and hopefully we're going to secure that one very, very soon as well too. Lots of good stuff happening. Uh, just thrilled to have you guys part of this. It seems like uh, I, Fridays don't come fast enough, even for me. We just we look forward to bringing you these shows every week, and uh, um, it, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So we really hope you can uh, tune in tomorrow night, have some fun, kick off the weekend, and uh, you know go from there. I don't think we have anything else here. Uh, Jared says, can't wait for tomorrow night. I'm going to be glued to my computer, Mike, Mike Hamill shreds. He certainly does. The guy is, is phenomenal. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet as well, too. He's very kind to us. Uh, Jeff Jones, he sure does. Jared, super nice guy, too. Exactly what I just said. Exactly. He's super nice guy. Uh, he'd give you the shirt off his back. You know, he's, he rescues dogs. He's just a good person. You know, really good, dude. Check out the video on our Facebook page that he posted tonight on facebook.com slash EVH gear discussion. Uh, shared a really nice video talking about the show tomorrow night and the skibble saying Thornley would be very cool as well. Thornley's one of those guys. I, I talk about him a lot and I say that he's one of probably the most underrated guitarists in Canada. Um, I mean him, you've got Alex Lifeson, you've got Rick Emmett, uh, even, even the guitar player that's in, in Thornley's band, my friend, good friend, Paul Onita, a phenomenal player. Um, he's, uh, the guitar player in the band with Thornley and uh and he's also i believe his road manager so there's some great talent in canada looking forward to bringing those guys on but uh, i had the opportunity two or three times i think it was three times my band got to play with thornley and sometimes we play with some big celebrities like some of the 80s bands you know uh they were you know famous once whatever um still famous you're doing their retours and stuff like that some of the musicians you play with were really cool some of them were not as cool by that i mean treating the opening bands who are, who are nobody anyways we're the nobody band we're opening for them, and sometimes you get the respect, other times you don't. Ian Thorne was one of the guys where I'll always hold him on a pedestal of uh, how cool we were treated because we're this little tiny band, you know, four guys, you know, we're just trying to, you know, you know, busting, busting the, the, the road, you know, trying to tour around the place, uh, around Canada, you know, make a name for ourselves, and he's treating us like we're on the same part as him. We're talking guitar for, for probably about a, an hour, and uh, it was almost to the point where, you know, I had to go, and the conversation probably could have still went on. So very, very cool, dude. Uh, so everyone's uh, starting to bump. They're starting to uh, roll here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as well. Just want to thank everybody for joining in on the chat tonight. And uh, Mark and I are really looking forward to uh, having you on the show tomorrow night. Don't forget to tune in for the whole show because there's some stuff you can win tomorrow night. Lastly, speaking of winning stuff, our big EVH gear discussion extreme giveaway contest wraps up next Friday. You have one week from tomorrow to enter this contest. Uh, over $1,500 worth of stuff that's being given away from EVH gear from actually centers provided some stuff as well from Dava picks, uh, from Tessie switch from, from, all uh, uh, pedal snake, got a hundred dollars worth of a uh, pedal snake gift certificate. A lot of stuff you can physically use right out of the get go. There's tons of EVH guitar strings. There's picks, there's, uh, strings, there's EVH guitar cables. There's uh, sweatbands like these, you know, the 5150 deals, 5150 on one side, EVH on the other, uh, some bandanas, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. 
And uh, Sammy is saying, Sammy St. Holmes is saying, does the amp have a nice clean tone like a Jazz Chorus 120? Yeah, very, very similar. A nice, uh, you know, uh, nice wet chorus kind of sound. Uh, stereo kind of feel to it, but not stereo. Um, is the amp and uh, thank you, a great channel, Skibble says. Thank you very, very much. If there's any, anyone in the chat right now that hasn't actually subscribed to the channel, we'd love it if you do that. And uh, make sure you check off the alerts because when we do these live broadcasts like this one, which isn't a, uh, a scheduled program, you'll be alerted that we're going live. You can jump in on the initial uh, part of the uh, the program. And Frank's saying good evening, Eric. Thank, uh, good evening to you as well too, Frank. Uh, guys, thank you so much. I'm, I've probably taken up way too much of your Thursday evening, and I don't want you to be tired for tomorrow night's show. You got to get well rested and come and join us early tomorrow night. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the big boss tomorrow night. All right, so I'm gonna jump over here in a moment. Uh, I'm just gonna do a nice a nice solid for our good friend Mike Hamill and play him one more time. So uh, here's Mike doing what he does best, and I'll be back in a second. Hey, this is Mike Hamill. You're watching EVH Gear Discussion Live with Eric Broadman and Mark Hazansky. Charlie and you're watching EVH Gear Discussion with Eric Broadbent and Mark Kazansky. Take care everyone. Thanks a lot for joining tonight. I really appreciate it. I'll take it over to the little man now. Cheers. Good night. My name is Eric and I'm playing Smoking Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit Design39Media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.